Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to the frigid coldness of Siberia. Today, we're going to be checking out Trans-Siberian Railroad Simulator. And I know very little about trains, so I'm a little worried about this. But yes, this is part of the Steam Next Fest. Uh, it is, of course, a demo for an upcoming game and uh, one I've actually been following for a while now. There's a mafia shop over there. Nice. All right, so I guess right now we have to go shopping. Our locomotive is over there. Um, I guess all the shops are over here. So we got to go get some food and whatnot because this is a survival game, of course. It can't just be a simulation game. Uh, we are simulating life as well. So what do we have here? Oh, alcohol, definitely I will be buying off of you. Uh, a dollar a beer? That's actually pretty affordable. Nice. We got $1,000 to our name. So you know what? Probably going to need a lot of this because it is uh, negative 29 Celsius out right now. A little cold and alcohol keeps you warm. What the hell is this? Is this like Sir Stroming? Sure, I'll grab some of this. Anything that's canned is going to last a while. A flashlight's probably a smart idea. Um, you know what? I kind of want a chainsaw. What can I do with this thing? Oh! Oh, God! Oh! I seriously didn't expect that to work. <laughs> All right, so we've learned a valuable lesson today. Much like America, everyone in Russia has firearms. So we probably don't want a chainsaw. <laughs> Some guy we just bought a chainsaw from. Um, I feel like I might actually need this. You know, there, there might be some logs in the way or something. So we'll grab that. Um, what else do we have? Milk. I guess we'll get a little bit of that. A banana. Um, a little bit of fruit. I don't know how much money I need in this game. A cabbage. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll just grab one of everything. He's just selling knives. It's a little shady, buddy, but okay. I'll take that just for uh, security. And what do you have? Did not expect bread in the shady van. We got some white bread and some rye bread. All right. I think that's more than enough for right now. Let's head over to our locomotive. Actually, before we head over to the locomotive, you know I have to check out the mafia shop. I just want to see what mafia sells, you know? I think I'm part of the mafia. I, I don't really know the backstory. It gave a brief overview of it at the start but i wasn't paying attention if i'm totally honest Ooh, celery yummy i always love a good floor celery is there anything else i can steal at the mafia place I, I feel like that's a very safe idea you know stealing from the mafia never goes wrong i don't think they're going to be bothered by some celery and a grapefruit though and if they are well my bad whoa hello fellow mafia um okay ammo's dirt cheap how much 300 dollars? i will take that for protection I'll buy some of your ammo as well and buy some of it. You know what? I'm kind of rich in this game. So there we go. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Is this a dumb idea? Okay. Well, I hope it wasn't a dumb idea. <laughs> just... You can do anything you want in this game. Let's remember, this is a train simulator right now. <laughs> Hey, maybe let's head over to my locomotive now that I killed the mafia. I hope nobody heard that. All right, and here is the green beauty. Oh, God. Okay, so mechanics are clearly going to be involved in this. Um, I'm hoping this thing runs. I should mention I know nothing about trains. The little I know is from other video games. So I'm a little worried by this one because it looks actually quite complex. Uh, anyways, let's get inside and see what we're working with here. How do I get up? Oh, God, it's a bad sign if I don't know how to climb. All right, here's where we're going to be living for a while. Uh, yeah, it smells very musty in here. I I, I would assume that. Just look, looking around, obviously, this is our engine quarters. What else do we have here? Um, more engine quarters. And then I'm assuming the other side of the locomotive if we want to go that way. Nice! Stand by the side mirror and press E. Oh, there's like an inspection mode. Okay, why on the mirror? I guess because you're looking through the mirror. You're in inspection mode. Inspe inspection mode performs the functions of viewing the status of a locomotive parts and the external camera. Navigate using the mouse and keyboard. Okay, so am I like actually inspecting for like breakages? Press T to view the condition. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. All right, so we got a bad speedometer. So I'm assuming we have to change that. Uh, yeah, the broken part is right here. And replace the new one. So this exit inspection mode and add the adjustable wrench to my inventory. Okay, how do I exit? E, perfect. All right, so I'm assuming there's a wrench somewhere around here. And we also got to find a speedometer. Great, there is a lot of pieces here. Ah, the red blinking thing. We got the adjustable wrench, nice. Okay, so we actually got to do like our own maintenance. This is really cool. I am impressed so far. 
I kind of love the idea of this. So first of all, we got to unscrew the old one. All right, there we go. So now we have the old junky one. Press E to put it in the inventory. Do I really want a broken one? I guess so. We have lots of inventory space, so all good. All right, so we install that one back to the wrench. Screw it in, and we are as good as... I was going to say new, but this is clearly not a new locomotive. Should probably close my doors. I do have to... We are in Siberia, so I do have to worry about hypothermia in this game. Um, definitely don't want to have to worry too much about that. You can still use parts of the scrapyard. Okay. The locomotive is ready to start. Now, I'm very worried. I'm seeing all the controls here. I know, like, half of these words. Why, why, why is there a KFC button? There's a main brake... There's a locomotive brake. Isn't that a main brake? There's also this one, which is a brake over here. Why is there three brakes? Also, this is a brake. How, how many friggin' brakes are on a train? Turn on the small compressor switch in the engine room in the second section of the locomotive. All right, so we got to go to the second. Oh, my God. Oh, I hope I don't have to re remember all this because I am going to be screwed. I mean, I've only done one thing, but I'm assuming this is going to be complex if I have to turn on the damn compressor. The small compressor provides pressure to the pantographs when there is no pressure in the main re reservoir. What the hell is a pantograph? Am I supposed to know this? Next step, turn on the radio. Wagons with coal to Novosprsk Glavny. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my Russian words are not going to be the best. They are on track eight by platform three. All right, so it's those ones right there. So it looks like we got our first shipment. And it is a huge shipment. This is going to be exciting. All right. And thankfully, it's going to take me through starting this thing up. Pantographs. Yeah, I know exactly what that is. Oh, God. There's three red buttons now. The red light shows that electricity is supplied from the battery. Oh, I knew that. Of course. Turn on pantograph one and two. What the hell was the other pantograph then? Oh, that's just power to the pantographs. And then we turn them on with that. Things are changing. That's that's exciting. We got 3,300 volts. Nice. Turn on heating first set and heating second set. Switch to maintain the right temperature in the cabin. Yes, I do not want hypothermia. Where the hell is that? Oh, over here. Oh, oh my God. I thought this was just like spare controls. This is different things? Oh, okay. So this is all cabin related, I think. All right. Turn on compressors. Switch on the panel. Okay. Compressors are now on. The main reservoir indicator on the panel shows it as filling up. Okay, that right there. Yep. The pressure of the main reservoir indicator must be at least 4 kg. Math. <laughs> All right, we're at 7.4, so I'm assuming we at least have enough. Dude, there is so much to know. I thought it'd be pretty simple. I mean, this is a playway game. They're not really known for their realistic simulators. This kind of seems overwhelming. All right, now we get to uh, turn on KFC, so we get some chicken. Good. Red light turned on. Needs to be reset. Why? All right, so the old off and on hopefully fixes it, I guess. Oh, uh, release. There we go. And I think we're good now. All right, BV1. Know exactly what that is. Um, needs to be reset too. God damn it. Oh, I heard a noise. The red light in the second row column has gone out. That means the engines are turned on. There is so much to just starting a train. When you lower the pantographs and raise them up again, remember to reset the engines. I don't even know what a pantograph is. Turn on the engine cooling low speed switch, which starts the engine cooling during normal movement. Okay, we definitely want the engine to be cool, I'm assuming. Prepare the brakes at the brake blocking handle to the brake release position. Oh, God. Oh, please always tell me how to do everything here because I, I forget everything already. Fill the leveling reservoir in the brake line with pressure of 5.5 kgs. What do you mean? Where do I do this? I mean, I'm sure if you're a train person, this is going to be an awesome game. I am not a train person. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I just had to move ahead. All right. So we need to go to release and charge position. We're on emergency braking, service braking. What's the difference? Shut off with supply, without supply. Release and charge. There we go. We are charging it up. The TLDR, if you have more pressure, you brake harder. Okay. But having it over 5.7 kgs for more than half a minute will expose the locomotive to damage. We are way over that right now, game. Uh, set the main brake handle to service position to stabilize the pressure. The pressure. All right, so we're back at service, and it is going down. Nice. Unfortunately, not down far enough, so we are still in the danger zone. Uh, main brake handle to shut off without supply. Okay. <laughs> doing? I know the pressure's dropping. Now we're too far. All right, so back to service. And did that fix it? It looks like it's going nice and slow now, so I think we're good. 
Turn on the VU switch to activate the locomotive control system. It's located... What the, what the hell's a locomotive control system? What other buttons are there around here? Next step is to turn on the signalization system. I, just, I thought I would just flip a key and everything would turn on. Not in, not in trains, man. All right, so we got to go to the engine room to do this. Can I get, like, an employee to do all this for me? All right, so what am I doing? Turning it to what? Backwards? No. Um, Forwards, obviously. So I'm assuming, does this make me control it from this one or that one, maybe? I don't know. I am sorry for the frustrated people who know a, a, a lot about trains. I'm trying my best. All right, we got to go over here now and turn on this one. Signalization on. Turn on the attention control system with the EP case. Wait, there's so many freaking things. Ah! Well, that was satisfying. Green light means that movement is allowed up to 60 kilometers an hour. That doesn't even look green. It's red. Oh, because it's like highlighted it. Okay. Um, yellow light means you have to slow down before the next railroad signal to at least 40. I Should I write this down? Yellow and red means you have to stop before next railroad. Okay. Red light means you have to stop immediately because there's another train between you and the nearest railroad signal. <laughs> oh, God. And white basically means we have no idea what's going on. Fantastic. Okay. Go to the cabin in the section of the locomotive. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're done with the lighting. So now we're going to this cabin for some reason. What the frick is over here? I can't even see. There's buttons that are hidden. All right. So if I want to drive here, there's a panel lock or something. Set the blocking handle to the handbrake's release position to deactivate the brake. Okay. What the f What is it doing? <laughs> I am so unbelievably overwhelmed. I didn't expect this. So I think what I'm doing is switching to this side for the controls, but I could be wrong. Uh, first section of the locomotive do the same. So yeah, it's just kind of showing me how I can flip it if I want to. I think we're going to stay over here the whole time because I'm going to get confused. All right, so flip this on and then it does a little spinny thing. That's exciting. Can I please just move the train at this point? Oh, M position. Okay, that's M. The locomotive is ready to drive. I got my sun visor and I'm, I'm happy. Set the main handle to the one position. Oh, oh my God, there's handles behind handles right now. Okay, so main handle to one. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, like even like there's a locking thing here. Th this is really well done. Am I moving? I'm moving. I'm doing it, sir. All right, so it wants me to go a little bit faster. So we'll, 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 we'll go to four. I don't want to go too fast because I got to connect to these coal cars here. So I'm assuming we got to change the track and head back. And indeed, I was correct. We have to go up a little bit. So let's put this thing in gear. So there is the white light basically means the engine goes off. It did tell me that. Um, I don't know why it would do that, but I guess you're going a little bit too fast. All right, we are rocking and rolling. Look at me driving trains. All right, we probably want to start slowing. This is a train after all. It's not like they're very fast. So uh, yeah, we got to do the switch up here and then head back. This calls for a celebratory beer. Hold E to drink. There we go. Just being a safe train driver. Train conductor? That I, th I think that's what they're called, right? All right, so set the lo locomotive brake handle to brake applied. And all right, so this is my brake. This is the one we have to worry about. There's too many brake handles, and I don't know which is which. Um, I think actually this one is what we use when we are connected to something, but this is the one we use when we just have the locomotive. All right, so now we need to go outside and change the rail setting. So we got to manually do this, I guess. All right, so we flip this and the track has changed. That was really cool. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I just know this is way over my head. All right, make sure my doors are closed. We want to make sure we keep warm. Okay, and I think we're ready to go. So put this into reverse, release the brake. And set the main handle once again to one. So we slowly... I'm doing it right. Okay, we are moving. It's just... Man, it's so slow. All right, so do not exceed five kilometers an hour. We do have our speedometer that I have uh, fixed. So we just got to make sure we're going pretty damn slow here. All right, and there we go. We are doing train things, ladies and gentlemen. We have liftoff. Okay, I didn't, I didn't even break anything. All right, and I guess now we're on our own. For the locomotive operating manual, go to the menu. Refer to the manual if any problems arise. Um, I just want to see how in-depth this is. Oh, that's so boring. Oh, just give me tabs. How do you give me a whole... I'm not going to read this to find one specific problem I'm having. Just give me tabs. All right, so we're just going to hope for the best that I don't have to read that. We are moving forward. 
I mean, not fast. We're going a stable 0 0.5 kilometers an hour, but we are indeed doing train things. Okay, I just got to make sure the white light doesn't go on. White light goes on, train turns off. All right, well, thankfully, I am seeing at the top right, uh, Glabney, I'm just going to call it that, is the closest station, it looks like. Well, shop is also there. Um, so I'm assuming it's the next major town that we're going to. Where's my horn? Is this... Ah, ha, ha! Uh, now I'm train driving, baby. Oh, you finally tell me how to sit down as well. Not that it actually helps. I'm literally just crouch game. I can sit anywhere. That, that, that is not sitting down. That's just crouching game. What the hell is this? Is this a circuit board? Or is this a train map? <laughs> you know what? I don't want to know. Aha, losers. You got away for me. Get wrecked, scrubs. <laughs> It's such a lineup. Oh, I feel like such a badass in a train. God, I don't even know if we'll get this thing up to full speed by the time we get there. We are seven kilometers away. This is as far as I can go at 19. Prepare to lower the pantographs. Oh. Top stream. How do I do this? Prepare to lower pantographs. I do, I, is it off? Hello? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to lower. I'm going to turn it off. Did that work? I don't know. Oh, oh, that's not enough. I wanted to make it to the place. Oh, I hate demos for that reason. I was just getting into it. And now it's like, thank you for playing. At least let me make it to my destination. Ah, oh, well, I have to say I'm seriously impressed with this. I didn't expect the game to be so detailed, so I'll definitely will be checking it out when it does come out. And clearly I have to brush up on my trains because uh, I think I'm going to need to know a lot in this one. So yeah, this is Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Bad. Get the frick out of here. You have to win. Hit him. Don't let him get the shovel or the tennis racket, dude. Oh my god. <laughs>